Hey everyone, welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. In today's episode, we're going to be studying a piece by the multidisciplinary artist known as Voja, and in today's episode, we are going to be looking at the dangerous and infamous predator known as a tiger. We're also going to explore the concept of visual rhythm and the concept of the passage of time. So let's just jump right into it. So whenever you first see this work, we're met with this tiger who appears to be thrashing about in every which direction. This is a very, you know, stunning and chaotic introduction to this very fierce work. Of course, the placement of the subject and center draws our eye within the piece, and we see this further reinforced by that dark background, right? That fluorescent orange of our subject's fur certainly pops out against that dark background, so that defines form to the absolute most intense degree. We also see a brilliant array of colors within this work, right? The two main tones that you're going to see are going to be gold, kind of like a yellowish, and then, of course, it's orange. Orange and yellow are going to be the two main colors within this work. That comes off as gold within the work at hand, but you do have some additional streaks of iridescent color and we do see a little bit of blue a little bit of green so there are some deviation but that main base is going to be that you know orangish goldish yellow so that creates a brilliant color composition a very gallant gold certainly gives a sense of energy to the work as well and on the topic of energy you look at the rhythm within the work right it's almost as if we're seeing the passage of time as our tiger thrashes about from one side to another that of course gives the illusion of motion Yes, of course, a passage of time. And then aside from that, we do have the rhythm that's created from various poses in different frames. So with this in mind, I got to ask you guys, do you all see that same effect or how do you feel? What comes to mind when you're viewing this work? course, the color gold is very important, right? For many millennia now, gold has been used to convey the divine. Of course, it does host that radiant shine, you know, it is absolutely brilliant in a bright light like the sun. That, of course, is incredibly important as well. So we attribute gold to a sense of the sacred in many different ways. It's been used in a brilliant aesthetic here. We certainly feel that it is strong, but it's also luxurious. You know, it is strong in the way that gold is used as a metal, so to speak. It's longevity, it's ability to resist things over time but at the same time gold is also a symbol of luxury as well due to its rarity in many other different properties kind of like we mentioned that sense of luminescence and its ability to intensify light so of course gold is incredibly important when you're looking at this work but our subject is clearly the main focus of the work at hand right this is the tiger it is one of many different large cats that are predators across the world the tiger has often attributed to this beautiful fur its ferocious and strong nature much like other large cats and of course just like other cats as well they're incredibly intelligent and so the tiger is a symbol of ferocity and strength and even you know fear as well but at the same time they are quite graceful they are a part of nature and due to that there is a certain beauty that comes from that as a result and that duality is always important to remember, right? You look at something like these teeth, perhaps one of the most definitive details of this display, it catches your eye time and time again. That is absolutely terrifying. That, of course, is the side of the duality where we're terrified of the tiger, its potential to harm, its potential to cause danger. Then you look at the other side where you see it, of course, as an animal, the other side of that dual nature where it is a part of nature in and of itself, and it's good to respect that and see the beauty that comes from that as a result. But regardless, this work can conveys a brilliant sense of motion, a brilliant sense of energy, a brilliant transition from one pose to another. And of course, I absolutely love the colors, the texture, the symbolism of this stunning work. And I really hope you'll enjoy it as well. What do y'all see when you view this work? Once again, you know, what comes to mind? How do you feel? Or what exactly do you think is happening within the work at hand? At the end of the day, I always extend the question to you guys. The work before us is obviously pretty realistic, right? It is actually a mixed media work. The base is going to be photography, of course, incredibly realistic and upon that we do have some digital edits whether that's adobe photoshop or otherwise but regardless you do see this brilliant mixed media work it's an always a pleasure to study this the original artist really loves the big cat symbolism i have two additional works to bring in real quick by the original artist voja see what we can learn here all right, so I went ahead and got two additional works, both the original artist Voja, to compare to the work that we're studying today. Of course, in all three instances, you do see that large cat, most specifically the tiger, absolutely ferocious, absolutely terrifying, strong, and incredibly fierce. Of course, the two works on the right are a lot closer to that duality of fear, right? The strength, the potential danger of the tiger. And in both instances, you have that sense of rhythm and those three sets of tiger faces with their lashing and langus teeth. 
then you compare that to the work on the far left. This one is a lot more ordered, a lot more structured. Of course, that frame, that radial circle, certainly Tain's alone subject does it a brilliant job of framing that. So you look at a work like this, it's a lot more luxurious, a lot more calm compared to the much more ferocious works on the right here. But I just want to bring in two additional works to compare to the work that we're studying today to show Vosges a fascination with large cats and even most specifically the tiger. So yeah, I just want to bring those in real quick and we absolutely love to see it here. That's all I have for today. I really hope you'll enjoyed The work before us, like I said, is a mixed media piece. You have photography and some additional digital edits and something like Adobe Photoshop. But at the end of the day, really hope you'll enjoyed. We talked about so many different things from the sense of rhythm, the sense of color. We talked a little bit about texture, these kind of iridescent lines that go throughout the work. We talked about the symbolism of the tiger, the ferocity, and the strong and intelligent nature of large cats. We talked about so many different things today. I really hope you'll enjoyed. If y'all enjoyed, go check out the original artist Voja doing some amazing stuff in multiple different mediums. But yeah, like I said, that's all I have for today. If y'all enjoyed, go check out the original artist Voja, also known as Voja underscore world. My name's Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see y'all on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Apollo Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.